Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you seven powerful Samsung Galaxy tips and tricks on One UI 8. Some of these are brand new features and some are classic Samsung tools that still work great. So we're going to cover hiding your photos and videos, boosting your battery life, improving lock screen customization, and much more. So if you find this helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and keeps me motivated to bring you more Samsung tips and tricks. So let's begin. So the first feature is where you can hide your photos and videos with private albums. So Samsung's private albums lets you lock away sensitive photos and videos with a password or fingerprint. So in One UI 8, this has been polished, so you can now hide the album entirely from the gallery, so no one even knows it's there. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll first go ahead and open up gallery. And in gallery, you wanna go ahead and tap on the menu, then tap on settings. Now from here, scroll down all the way until you see about, tap on it and then go ahead and tap multiple times on the version number until you see a message appear here saying gallery labs has been enabled. Go back and you'll see this secret menu called gallery labs. Tap on this, turn it on and then find private album. Go ahead and turn this feature on. Now once that's done, restart your gallery app, tap on gallery. Now you wanna go ahead and find those pictures where you wanna make it private. So for example, these images here, I'll go ahead and select a few, tap on more, and then tap on move to private album. So those pictures are now moved to private albums. So now they do not appear right here. To get them, go ahead and tap on menu, tap on private album, go ahead and authenticate this by a fingerprint or pin. And once you do that, you'll see your photos and videos in the private album. So no one has access to it unless they have your pin or they have your fingerprints. So this protects your privacy when showing photos to others. It keeps your sensitive files separate and hidden. And in One UI 8, hidden albums integrate better with Samsung's secure folder as well. The second feature is where you have a new privacy protection app. So One UI 8 introduces a privacy protection app that can blur and cover private info automatically. This is a post which I've seen on X by Galaxy Techie who has found this information and has basically helped us out with what it does and the APK. So as it reads, privacy protection on One UI 8 just got a new icon with slightly faster operation so it can blur or cover up private info including avatars, names, ID numbers and many more. So this would be done automatically with a single tap. So this works on names, ID numbers, addresses and other sensitive information in screenshots or shared content. So I've left the link in the description down below so you can go ahead and download it from there. I've already downloaded mine. So I've just downloaded a image from the internet, a credit card. So let's go ahead and see this privacy protection app in action. So here we've got this credit card. I'll go ahead and take a screenshot. Now we can go ahead and tap on the share button here. And now at the bottom here, you're finding the privacy protection. And there you go, privacy protection. Go ahead and tap on this. This will now analyze your screenshot and as you can see it has basically blurred the number now you can go ahead and choose to blur other stuff as well by just tapping on it and that will blur it as you can see i've blurred the 16 digit number the expiry date and the name so it's totally up to you you can go ahead and choose all these different types of blur this is before and this is after now once you're happy with this you can go ahead and tap on share and share that screenshot to anyone you like so this prevents accidental exposure of personal details. It's super useful when sharing documents, screenshots, or forms. And this is a major privacy upgrade compared to the older one UI versions. The third feature is where you can double your battery life with adaptive battery. So the adaptive battery feature uses AI to learn which app you use the most and limits background power for your apps to rarely open. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find battery. Now we'll go ahead and find, now we'll find background usage limits, tap on this, and then tap on the three dots and find adaptive battery. Here you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will extend the battery life based on your phone usage. So this basically extends your daily battery life significantly. It reduces unnecessary background drain, and over time your phone feels fast and lasts longer. The fourth feature is the adaptive clock on your lock screen. So the new adaptive clock on your lock screen automatically moves around so it doesn't cover important parts of your wallpaper like faces or text. So this only works on people and it works on animals. So let me show you how to do this. So here I've got two images which I wanna go ahead and set this as my lock screen. However, I wanna go ahead and also enable the adaptive clock where the clock basically adapts 
to the shape of this object, of this people here. So this person here and this dog. So first we'll go ahead and start with the dog. We'll go ahead and tap on the three dots, tap on set as wallpaper, and we'll set it as a lock screen wallpaper. And I will go ahead and zoom in a bit. Now, as you can see, the clock is already adapting to the dog, but if you don't see it, you can go ahead and tap on the clock. And in font and color, you wanna go ahead and choose the second icon here, where you see the clock moving up and down. Go ahead and choose that. And then in style, you wanna go ahead and make sure you have chosen that, the second one. Now you wanna go ahead and move your clock around and see where this clock fits perfectly for you. You can go ahead and add it to the center and you can go ahead and also move the wallpaper according to your preference. Now, once you're happy with that, tap done. And now your adapter clock has been applied for your lock screen. Now let's go ahead and try this out with a human. So this is the second one. We'll tap on the three dots, tap on set as wallpaper, set it for lock screen. Now I'll go ahead and leave the same clock which we've chosen, and I'll go ahead and play around with this person here. So I'll go ahead and increase the size. I wanna go ahead and make sure that the clock is in the center and she's in the center. None of the numbers are covering her face. So I'm happy with that. I'll tap done. And now when I go ahead and look at the lock screen again, this is how the adaptive clock will look like. So your wallpaper stays clean and uncluttered. Time is always visible and easy to read. So this is a small change, but it adds polish and elegance look to your lock screen. I have had comments in the past where people were unable to use the adaptive clock as the adaptive clock doesn't adapt to the subject in the photo. However, you need to make sure that it's an animal or it's a human. You need to also make sure that animal or human is not blurred out. So if you have some bokeh effects, that will not work properly. You need to make sure the photo is really clear and the subject is clear as well. The fifth feature is where you can customize your Finder apps to search. Samsung's Finder lets you search your phone for apps, contacts, and settings and more. But in One UI 8, you can customize which apps or categories it searches through, making results more relevant. So to access your Finder, swipe up, tap search, and here you can go ahead and search anything. So let's just say I wanna go ahead and search for my driving license. So I'll go ahead and search license. Now I can go ahead and do a search. So as you can see, it's searched in settings, searched in documents, in internet, YouTube, my files, the Galaxy Watch 6 Manager, TikTok, Gallery, and many other things. However, I don't want it to search everywhere. So I can go ahead and tap on the X here. I can tap on the three dots and then tap on choose apps to search in. Now from here, I can go ahead and disable everything and I can go ahead and only choose the gallery app. Now I wanna go back and do my search again. So as you can see, it's only searched in gallery. I can go ahead and tap on this and now I can go ahead and look at all the driving licenses which I've taken pictures of in the gallery app only. So it's a faster and a cleaner search results, no irrelevant apps cluttering the search and this helps keep private apps from popping up. The sixth feature is where you can create a setting shortcut. So you can create direct shortcuts to specific settings on your home screen. So for example, Wi-Fi, battery, or Bluetooth. So let me show you first how to enable the settings. So to enable this, you wanna go first, go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Registrar. Next, you wanna go ahead and tap on Search Options. And here you wanna go ahead and allow creation of a shortcut, so allow that. Now press Home. Now let's just say, for example, I wanna create a shortcut where I wanna go ahead and change these navigation bar. So I wanna go ahead and change it from a icon to a gesture. And if I don't like that, I wanna go ahead and change it back to an icon. So first you wanna go ahead and open up your quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now, instead of you going straight to that settings, just go ahead and tap on search and search for the following setting. So it's a navigation bar setting, which is right here. It's in display, so I can go ahead and long press on this. This will now give me an option to add it to my home screen. So yes, I wanna go ahead and add this. So now that shortcut has been added, so I'll tap home. So this is a shortcut which has been added. Now, if I wanna go ahead and change really quickly, I can go ahead and tap on this. And then go back. If I wanna change it back. And then can go back to my home screen. 
So this saves time by giving you one tap access. So this is perfect for toggling features you use often and it keeps your phone more personalized. And lastly, the seventh feature is where you can create a GoodLock app launcher widget on your home screen. So Samsung's GoodLock app, which is downloadable from the Galaxy Store, gives you a powerful customization tools. So with One UI 8, the app launcher widget lets you create a mini app drawer or a custom launcher layout directly on your home screen. So no more going to GoodLock and then going through all these menus. You can just go ahead and create a GoodLock launcher like this. And here you can go ahead and choose all these different apps to play around with. So let me show you how to add this. So to add this, go ahead and long press on your home screen or just pinch, then tap on widgets, scroll down and find good lock. Here you have a choice of two, so good lock apps or the good lock here. Basically added both of them. So the good lock app launches right here, which you get this, and the other one is this one here. So as you can see, this adds flexibility beyond your Samsung's default launcher. It lets you organize your apps your own way, grids, folders, or custom design. And this is a must have for power users who love customizing their phone. And that's it. We just went through seven awesome Samsung Galaxy tips on One UI 8, some brand new like the privacy protection app and the adaptive clock, and some old favorites like private albums and adaptive battery. So which feature you're most excited to try? Drop a comment below and let me know. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Samsung and Android tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.